It's Saturday with Ted on In-Depth Radio, News Talk 1010. I'm looking uh, at uh, reading through this book called Portraits in Music, and it's these outstanding pictures of uh, great musicians over the years. And I swear to God, I mean, you can almost hear music jumping right off the page. These pictures are terrific, and the artist responsible for them is Chris King. You recognize that last name? She's the better half of the other guy, Bill. Hi, Chris. Hi, Ted. How you doing? Hi, well, this is this is outstanding. Why, thank you. This is outstanding. I mean, these these shots. I mean, wow, wow, beautiful. Thank you. And most of them, most of them are mid life performance, right? Oh, there uh, there's only a few that are actual poses. I asked the artist to pose for me. Uh, the, all the rest are live concert portraits. Do you ever have anybody? Stop in the middle of a song as you're taking a picture and saying, "Get out of my way!" Or <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm used. To, I used to be look, generally throughout all of my years of photography in the pit. I was usually, usually the only woman in there, and so I learned how to work those elbows really good to get those guys out of my way, so yeah, I could yeah. get the best shot. Now this all began for you. You're from Lo- what, Long Island. Yes. And and is that where you started your photography, your musical photograph photography career? No. I wish I did because uh, I grew up with a lot of famous people in Long Island. Uh, We had uh, that band you just heard was uh, Billy Joel's first band, and they were all friends of mine. But we also had uh, the Love and Spoonful, the Rascals, uh, just an enormous amount of artists who eventually became famous. I spent a summer with... Uh, the Sparrow, who went off to L.A. and became Steppenwolf. Mm-hmm. Uh, they played uh, in Long Island. Uh, there's absolutely nothing to do in Long Island, so there's a lot of uh, live music clubs and an enormous amount of bands. So, there, you know, there's always that to do, to mm-hmm. go dancing, listen to music. So when did you first do this, start doing this professionally, and who were the first few artists that you clicked Well, I started doing this professionally in the early 80s. Uh, As a matter of fact, I I was telling uh, somebody the other day that uh, Bill had given me, once I started taking photographs, Bill had given me an automatic Nikon camera, and we happened to be going by the very first TD Jazz Festival. Now, people should know that Bill is quite an outstanding photographer he as well. He is a very, he has a brand new book himself. You I should know. talk to him about. I know. But uh, anyways, yeah, so uh, we happened upon that, and I shot some photos of their first festival, and that was pretty cool. But because we had access, I was a record promoter. That's what I did to make a living. And so I always had my camera with me, and we also had access between what Bill did and what I did. Uh, we just... You know, it was crazy to not have a camera. So uh, we started taking photos, and uh, when Bill had the magazine The Jazz Report, we had two fabulous, uh, very well-known jazz photographers, John Reeves uh, and Paul Hoffler, who contributed uh, our cover photos and a lot of our inside photos. And Bill and I were really keen to uh, get with them and learn as much from them as we could. And I have, like, some of the photos in there. If anybody knew John Reeves, you would say, oh, there's Sir John Reeves' period where he went in very, very close. And the whole cover of the Jazz Report magazine would be covered with a face. Mm -hmm. And so I went through that stage. And Paul Hoffler uh, had 200 photos of his in the Ken Burns Jazz uh, documentary. And uh, so he taught us a lot uh, over the years of how to take a jazz, how to take a concert photo and what not to do. I'm looking at some of these pictures we should read out just to give people an idea of who some of the people that you have photographed over the years. Uh, Roberta Flack. James Brown, James Brown. Yeah. Ray Charles. Yeah. Who were the ones that really stuck out to? Stuck out in terms of the fact that they were really easy to work with. Like they knew what your job was, and they were trying to help oh, you. Oh well, that's a good question, Ted. Um, two of the very best, most professional artists that treated the photographers really special was Tony Bennett and Aretha Franklin. 
<clears throat> we photographed Aretha Franklin many times. And, and the interesting thing about photographing the same artist over and over is you always want to get, you, like for particularly Aretha, Aretha was hard to photograph to get that really attractive photo of her. So every single time we had an opportunity, we took it. But she would, it, we always got three songs before you know, in the beginning of a concert. And so she would actually walk to both sides of the stage and play to the photographers, as did Tony Bennett. And that, and they would give us their best, you know, uh, mm -hmm. poses, their best everything. And so they really knew how to work with photographers to get the best shots to make them look good. How was Steve Burton? Steve Martin, well, he was there to play music, so he wasn't making jokes or anything. He was a pretty serious guy, and, uh, you know, he was there with his banjo, but he wasn't particularly uh, effusive, mm -hmm. you know, on the stage. He just played, and they did their thing. And um, But there was a lot of artists who are very giving to the audience, and a lot of those people are the old 60s R&B artists. Mm -hmm. What about uh, 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 people like Patti LaBelle? That's who I was talking about. Yeah. She is fantastic. Both times, I, and so the two, I have two photographs of her in there. One was one year in Barbados, and one was from another year in Barbados. And both years, she made me cry. <laughs> Because she tells the most amazing stories while she's performing, and uh, her performances were absolutely amazing. She'll just make you cry. That's that's all I can tell you about her. She's fabulous. I, I, there's no there's no one answer that you can give to this question, and I'm trying to I'm make it sound like it's not too simplistic or too stupid. But if there's one thing that people should know about taking pictures of performance musicians, what is it? Well, there, it's not just one thing. I think the first thing you know is never use a flash. The second thing is have your equipment up to snuff, right? And don't get in their faces. Don't don't make an nuisance of yourself. Don't interrupt their show. Don't interrupt the audience's enjoyment of the show. I think those are two really important things. And uh, for as far as Paul Hoffler goes, my mentor, he said, when you photograph an artist, always photograph two hands. Do not be a surgeon. And so that's absolutely important to me. What does that mean? It means, so for instance, you're photographing a guitarist, but oh, where's his hands? Right. You're just showing him from here up. You know, where you're photo, it's like photographing a dancer without legs. <laughs> okay. That's my, my brother's mother-in-law <laughs> takes pictures like that, <laughs> where, where somebody's, or where the head will be lopped off, and all you see is the feet up yeah, to the well, forehead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Th th these are beautiful. These are just t terrific Thank shots. Thank you so of much. Icons. But now, see, they posed for me. Ellis yeah. Marcellus and Jason. They, they posed for me backstage in Barbados. Yeah. And that's the two different years that Roberta Flack was there. And she had two very different looks. Man, yeah, no kidding, eh? Mm -hmm. Great stuff. Where can people get a hold of this? Uh, they can get a hold of it at uh, blurb.ca and just uh, put in the search portraits and music and they should come up no problem. Blurb.ca. Portraits in Music by Chris King. Wonderful stuff. Thank, thank you so much, Ted. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. Nice seeing you. Always nice to see you. All righty. Coming up, the news at 2 and then you think you got problems with rats. Stay tuned.